So for the last year and a half, the Osdom MO6s have been my go-to budget recommendation for headphones, as to this day, they are the only Bluetooth headphones that I can actually use without needing to go back to a wired pair when I need quality. They're a comfortable pair of over-ear closed-back headphones that are my go-to pair even to this day when it comes to budget recommendations as well as most out and about situations. However, that may all be about to change as I saw the Samsung SR850s were available for under $50. Now, I've been using higher-end open-back headphones for editing, gaming, and even music listening whenever I'm not using speakers since 2012. However, I wanted to see how well a more budget option would do, and the reason I chose these headphones is because of the fact that they won best headphones under $50 in 2015, as well as the fact that audio is often the most important part of anything, explaining that little intro, but it's also the most expensive. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the actual review, and before we do, I just need to quickly say that this is going to be a bit more technical than my other headphone reviews, purely because these are more professional, but I have done reviews of other headphone products which you can find in the description of this video. The SR850s features a semi-open back design, meaning that you can get a much wider, more transparent sound stage when mixing audio, and more ambient listening. These headphones are best suited for professional use in quiet environments such as studio. I did try using these headphones out and about as they do only have an impedance of 32 ohms so I could power them with a smartphone, however they will sound much better even with a small amount of power. I took them to class, however despite them only being semi open back, they still leak as much noise as open back headphones so they were fairly unusable and this includes loud places such as buses as all the noises will be let in, so this is more of a stay at home pair of headphones. The SR850s feature an impressive frequency range of 10Hz to 30kHz, which is comparable to headphones in the $200 plus dollar range. They also feature the Evertrue 50mm neodymium magnet drivers, which I've found to be fairly standard on almost all low to mid range open headphones, as well as some closed ones as well. Another nice touch that Samsung have provided on this pair of headphones is the Velour ear cups. Now, on budget headphones, companies tend to cheap out a bit on the ear cups, however, Samson haven't here, and while less comfortable for quick listening, for long studio sessions, the low ear pads have a serious edge in terms of comfort, as well as making sure your ears don't sweat as much as they would without the low ear pads. They are circular, so I do have to take them off every few hours, however, they're generally comfortable for long listening sessions and cause no problems with piercings. When editing with these headphones, as long as the environment is quiet, then these are perfect. I could easily balance my audio and only needed the audio level meter to check my levels after I was done. This is the way editing should be. I also tested these headphones with what headphones were invented for, which is music listening. I made sure that all of the files were at least 192 kilobytes per second to make sure that I was actually listening at a high quality and I was very impressed. The low end was good enough to meet most requirements, however, these headphones are not bass head headphones, but where these headphones really stood out were the treble and the highs. The mids were very smooth and clear and some of the best I've heard on headphones under $100, and the vocals are crystal clear. It's a similar story with the highs. They are very clear and I could hear all the details of things such as hi-hats, even hearing reverb that I couldn't hear on many other pairs of headphones. These headphones are also great for mixing music as I could clearly hear all of my instruments so I could easily determine which hi-hats to use and how much reverb to use, thanks to the excellent highs that these headphones provide. In fact, I made this song right now using these headphones. Now, I've seen a trend develop in the last few years, and that's to buy a cheap pair of open back headphones and use them to replace a gaming headset. I tested these headphones in both a casual and competitive environment, and they worked great, allowing me to hear enemy footsteps, where explosions are coming from, and generally improve my gaming experience. Now we're moving on to the part which I like to call nice to haves, as well as some weak points of these headphones. Unfortunately, the cable is not removable, but it's nice and long so I could move around and keep these headphones on. There is a self-adjusting headband, meaning that I could just pull these headphones on and they will adjust themselves. They are nicely balanced in terms of depth and height, so they're not too long and not too deep. Finally, they are nicely packaged in a cardboard box including only the headphones and a user guide. Overall, this is a fantastic pair of budget open headphones, which are far better than the Osram awesome MO6s and the Sennheiser HD 451s. They're a fantastic, comfortable, balanced pair of headphones with quality all the way through the frequency range, and by far my favourite headphones under $200. For quiet use at home or in a studio, I cannot recommend them enough. 
Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. There's one thing left to say, and that is goodbye. Shut your ass, say your prayer to the you.